Hi, I'm Kathy Johnson from Pyramid of Potential. Uh, this is the first video of 60 in which we'll be going over uh, as many trainings and therapies and tools and strategies that I can give you. But this first video, we're going to be going over what is the Pyramid of Potential. And it's actually the only thing that in all these videos that I actually created from scratch. Uh, the rest is all going to be you know, the best of the best that I found out there to share with you. So at the top of the pyramid is academic success. And this represents where a student can walk into a classroom and learn. But usually that's not why you're here watching this video. You're here because somebody's having difficulties uh, while they're at school. So let's take a look. At the base of the pyramid is mind and body health. When I'm talking about body health, I'm talking about the health of the cells. And this can be, um, this can be influenced by anything you place in your mouth, be it water or drugs. Um, this can be influenced by exercise and sleep. And then when um, I talk about the mind health, I'm talking about things like stress, depression, and anxiety that can keep us from being successful. Uh, up from there is neurodevelopment. When I'm talking about neurodevelopment, I'm talking about the development of the brain in the first year of life. And uh, this is also where I'm talking about stages of development which have a fancy name called primitive reflexes. And that's all primitive reflexes are, is stages of development. Now if somebody has had a problem learning, and they've had it since they were born, I mean they never developed it, then it's developmental. And so um, if, they, if somebody has developmental disabilities, um, and I'm talking here about autism and dyslexia and things like this, learning disabilities, where they've had them for their entire life, then it's developmental. And it can come from not going through stages of development well enough. So when I'm working with somebody, um, then when we're going through this stage of the pyramid, uh, we are actually replicating stages of development. Most of my students, when they've come through, they make significant changes in the first 30 days by going through these developmental stages, these primitive reflexes. Uh, the first time I had somebody who didn't, I was very surprised. And so I sent them home to do their exercises for two more weeks. They came back after two more weeks and still there were no changes. It's like that's odd because everybody else had changed. So I told them, go back and do those exercises for two more weeks and let me research this. So uh, while they did the re the, their uh, exercises, their primitive reflex exercises, um, I went home and I started doing some research. What I found was perhaps they wouldn't, um, these exercises, these reflex exercises wouldn't work well if there was an issue with um, mind and body health. So when they came back, I said that I wanted them to go have a consultation with a nutritionist, which they did, who found out that this little girl had mitochondria disease. And for some people who have mitochondria disease, they don't want to drink water or eat fat, like eat salmon or even take omega-3s. Even though this was a very, very uh, healthy family, they decided uh, to do something. She wouldn't drink the water, she wouldn't eat the fat, so they gave her soda and french fries. And guess what? Our brain, which is mostly made up of fat and water, um, her brain now had fat and water in it and she progressed. And so that's why there is a layer below the neurodevelopment for mind and body health. Now during this first year of life, while the baby is going through these, these um, stages of development, they're also improving and setting up their brain for good sensory and motor development. Uh, we aren't going to talk a whole lot about motor development in these 60 videos, but we will be talking about sensory development. I want you to think about the two most 
important senses for learning in school? Did you come up with vision and hearing? Yeah. In order to learn, we need to be able to process what we see and process what we hear. Very, very important. So these are set up during this first year of life, but because we're trying to um, get our students through this pyramid as quickly as possible so that they can be successful in school, uh, we are going to spend a ton of time on that neurodevelopment. So we're going to also directly impact their processing of visual and auditory information um, through um, uh, maybe a listening therapy, maybe vision work, vision therapy, and try and get their body to now process the information. Once that's set in place, it's time for cognitive training. Here I'm talking about training for cognitive skills, such as memory, attention, logic and reasoning, and processing speed. We obviously need those in order to be successful with reading, writing, and math. And so that gives you a quick overview of the pyramid of potential. See you next time.